are in position for the afternoon. There is lots of deer sign, um, especially footprints in this freshly cleared area on, um, on Ray's property. So I've got a beautiful face in front of me. The wind is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous afternoon. I'm definitely prepared today. I've got this, which is what I had last time when I shot that stag, to film me shooting hopefully a big boy if he comes out. And I've also got the GoPro all ready to go on the 308. I've got cows in the back too, so I'll have to keep an eye on them, make sure they don't creep down into this front section. <laughs> Spiderwebs, after spiderwebs in my face, look at this, look at these spiderwebs everywhere. Australian bush, <laughs> I tell you what, didn't expect nothing else, but big bush everywhere and spiderwebs. Hey. Oh, boy. Pain in the ass when you walk so far down the gully. From far away, you think it's all open. When you get close, it's like, what the hell did I get myself into? What a waste sometimes, I tell you. But then again, it is what it is. These weather conditions are amazing. Look at this, all nice and green. It's all nice and wet. The sun is out and I'm in front of the hill. And then over the hill, I saw from the road that it butts onto a state forest. So I can't wait, I'm telling you right now. If nobody hunts here, and I know that barely nobody drives here, I can almost guarantee if there is still an area that will come out tonight, so that's it. Make sure the wind is in your face. 
blowing in your face. Not away from your face because the deer can smell you from a mile away. So if you go against the wind, you gotta have a good chance. It's good to be out here again. It's good to be back. I tell you what, and then finding a spot like this. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe it. Begin. Good boy. Oh, how do we go? Not that good, hey? All right, guys. Sneak and I have made it back to the car safely. Unfortunately, we didn't see any deer today, but that's all right. That's how hunting goes sometimes. You can plan everything out right down to the very last thing, and still the deer don't show up. But we'll stay optimistic for tomorrow. We've got four days out here. This is day one, done and dusted. We did see two massive eastern grey kangaroos, which was really cool. I got some footage of them. And that's just what I love about hunting is it's not just, you know, getting out and harvesting your own meat. It's being able to be out in the bush and the nature and, you know, just witness all this like wildlife pretty much jumping straight past you. And you're there living, breathing and feeling alive. So hopefully tomorrow brings us better luck. Wait, wait, you can still see the little stag there. Well, we got a good eater. That was intense. Oh, that was the best morning ever. Oh my goodness, it's so sunny. All right. All right. So. 
Take a breath. Take a breath. <sighs> Snake's going bloody crazy still. I cannot believe I just got all of that on film. I cannot believe it. I tell you what, you put in the work and you definitely get the reward. I didn't want to get up super early. I actually had a little bit of a sleep in and I thought, you know what? I've got sneak. I'm going to head out and just contour a couple of faces where it looked really promising. Um, oh, just some really nice open country, really good stalking, especially with the dog as well. And we popped over the top of the ridge and contoured along a couple of these um, spurs. Saw some pretty good sign, fresh droppings everywhere. Sneak was scenting, the wind was perfect. It, all the conditions were just absolutely perfect. Geez, thanks Sneak. Come here. Come here. Oh. And yeah, there they were just standing there. Just the massive ears, the massive ears standing out. That's all I saw. And then I didn't see the second second deer for quite some time. And then, yeah, well, there was a third there. Not entirely sure what the third was. Looked like a, a young hind, but then, I don't know. It was too quick. It might have been a cast stag. Um, just a young one, though. But that was cool. That was epic. Let's go find her. A lot of this ground can look really different the closer you get to where you shot the deer. I don't even know why I'm still whispering. So it's a really good idea to just take mental notes of some bushes or some big trees if they're leaning over and stuff. I say this all the time because once you get there it's really hard sometimes to figure out exactly where you shot it. And I know for me, you know, I haven't been hunting for that long, about five years or so, but I wouldn't classify myself as an expert, but I know that that really helps me. Good boy! Oh geez, right under the log. Good boy! How are we getting out of there? Deer on the deck, our first one of the trip, and she is a massive girl. Neck shot here, which I'm super happy with, because she went down straight away, like really quickly, which means it's nice and humane, and we've got to, you know, thank the animal for giving its life so we can have the beautiful food, and I really appreciate it. And it might not be, you know, a big 30 inch stag, but it's still a beautiful animal. I mean, look at these gorgeous ears. I love the ears. Beautiful animal and decent amount of meat too. So I am absolutely stoked. Cannot wait to oh, get back to the hut and tell the guys I dropped the first deer. Oh, hey, me and Sneeko. We did it. Teamwork. All right, we're almost to the top. And I've just come across a deer bed, a fresh one. And this is how you can tell, if you don't know, you've got fresh hairs. Right behind a little bit of a tree, along a game trail. They'll usually prop themselves up here and they've got a really good view. Also, the air's coming up so they can tell if any predators are coming.
That is a steep, steep freaking pace. Holy shit. Shane, what's going on? You're mad. Fucking hell. Not that easy, hey? This is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the good times. What about you, Dar? Let the good, good times roll, I reckon. Holy crap. I'm 60 years old, you know. 60 years old, <laughs> that man. So well. worn out. <laughs> He's still like a mountain goat. He's not easy. He, go he goes up and down like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> so. Well done. Uh, <sighs> Snake. <laughs> yeah, high five to the dog. <sighs> Chop and half done. So now that rope here uh -huh. is like a fucking fishing rope. So <laughs> hope for the best it doesn't break and our rope, even our rope broke a couple of times, yeah. We've got a pretty good road straight up though, that's all right. Straight line up there. Just gonna have to take it slow.
this is the only one thing when you go in the bush, especially before winter, there's spider webs everywhere. And you get them in the face, you get them on the chest, you get them everywhere. As long as you don't get bitten, you should be alright. So always remember, where the sun hits first in the morning, that's where the deer are. And when the, where the sun is last at night, that's where the deer are too. Okay, so always remember that. Another tip guys, so especially those big branches here. Try not to touch them when you go past them. I know it's hard, but the deer sometimes can see it, especially with the longer branches if you touch them. And they move like that. And they are like three meters high. They can see you coming, so it's not good. protein that one they are the best best eating especially if you're out here you're lost let's just say you can't find back you got no food no water these grasshoppers here especially in the summer and the spring are the best mm, crunchy too crunchy mm. that's good just have to swallow them quick and then it's not too bad but i tell you what if you run out of food those grasshoppers are the best and then you go down to the water get yourself a fire up and running boil the water you got some drinking water too so that's rock and roll a little tip for you all right it's opening up a bit more which is really really good and there's a hill here there's a hill over the top there is another gully so Fingers crossed, but the wind is all over the shop, so we just wing it. Holy crap, man! Day. And all of a sudden it showed up behind the tree again and it's down. I just saw it tumbling down the, the little gully thing there. And we are deep, deep, deep in the bush. There is the river it's right down there, which is great. But we need to drag that out. I have no idea how far. We are fine. Whew. Oh, fucking hell. Holy shit. <laughs> that geese bumps is, oh, jeez. I don't know what the hell is going on, hey, but the more I go hunting, the more I shake. <sighs> Here we go. Some blood there. Oh. Blood here. Got it. Found it. Found it. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like if you don't sometimes find blood or the, the scrape marks, man, you, how, how would you find that? No chance. <sighs> Deer down. Oh, far out. Well, and that idea down, 2022. Here we come. Oh my goodness. Steph yesterday, she shot a massive hind. Me today, a grown calf. Thank goodness it's not that big because hey, that drag out, that drag out is a different, yeah, it's a different story. I mean, when you look down there, it's just thick bush. Hopefully we can make it all the way to the gully and then drag it along the gully all the way home like we did last year. So we'll see how that all goes. But now we are up like, a couple of k's up the gully so hopefully it's not that hard and uh, Farah I'm so thirsty I'm starving too I didn't have much food today so I have uh, no food with me the grasshoppers didn't do the job either so anyway I'm gonna drag that thing down there and uh, see you guys down in the gully
you most likely want to see my view my view is that of course and that man i don't know where the hell to go now but all i know is straight down that's all we know so yeah we figure out the, the rest later Houston, we've got a problem. Oh my god. Oh dear. Where now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What now? Far off. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't go up, I can't go. When you walk a couple of k's in, obviously you have to walk a couple of k's out. And if it's in the water, it's in the water. But I mean, look, let me show you. This is how we drag deers these days. That's it. They come with us, but there is no tomorrow. The freezer is empty. Steph shot a behind. I shot a calf. Can't complain. The big boy is still out there, but trust me guys, he's going to drop this year. Wow, guys, this was now one hour in between filming. I don't know, but I am exhausted. I hope it's not far to go. I have no idea. All I see is that rock straight ahead. I know the river runs downhill. That's about it. So we'll see. Oh boy, that got sucked in now. Oh. Man, I'm so exhausted. Well, I don't know where we are, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a rest. I'm gonna eat something, 
and then we're going to continue to go down there but i know roughly where we are a couple of turns i think and we should be down there so it's gonna get dark so i'm gonna eat something quick and then we go from there all right let's have some quick eye fillets and then we're gonna head down that knife by the way chris steph's brother bought that for my birthday present so thank you legend it's an amazing freaking knife i really love it now that it's gonna taste amazing look at that Tender. Nothing better than that. I have to go down that gully there. Man, we're gonna take our time though, so definitely. tried the rib meat from a samba especially one in good condition with lots of fat on it you're missing out how am i going to make it through all of that, that is all dogwood, all the way to the top of the ridge, which is where I'm trying to get to. And then I'm gonna contour just below the bottom of the ridge all the way along until I get back out. Thick dogwood. Won't be coming up this way again. I think I'll just make my way in off the track and just along the ridge. That's probably a lot easier. The wind's pretty good today, there's not much of it. Um, all morning it's been sort of coming down, which is really good at the moment. It's actually pretty still. I'm gonna try and make my way up there as quick as I can and then see if we can get some deer bedding.
Well, that little clear patch of land didn't last very long. <sighs> like spider web after spider web after spider web, almost closing your eyes shut. <sighs> Hopefully all this pays off. This is where the big boys live though. Right next to the top of the ridges. You gotta go all the way up, you gotta do the hard work. You gotta put in the miles to get the smiles. It's not very smiley right now. Right, so Sneak has just gone like 280 meters following something. I just beeped him, which means to come back. And um, that little blue, blue triangle there that he's making his way back to slowly. <laughs> Where have you been? Hmm? Way too far. That's where it all happened last year, right up there. It grew back a little bit ever since, but I'm back here again. You know, Steph, she went down a gully today with the dog, and I'm back up here because, you know, something always drags me back, back in this area. I remember how thick he was on the base, you know, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if daddy, He's still alive.
shit. Yes! Deer down. Deer down. And I went straight for the neck too. Only 20 minutes, 20 meters away from the deer. I stalked him and he would still bet and bet. I could have shot 10 times already. But in Austria, the rules are you need to wait till it gets up at least and then shoot. But he went up. Oh shit. I went straight for the neck because if I would have shot here somewhere, you know how tough they are. They charge off and down here, that is steep. That is a steep gully. I don't want to drag another one. You know, me, Steph and Shane already dragged the first one yesterday. I dragged the whole thing out from the gully. And today it's going to be an easier drag. So, oh, yes. <laughs> what a trip. What a first trip again. <sighs> Turn this off. Oh my God, I'm a bit dizzy now. I'm so excited. I was right there in front of me bedding. <sighs> wow, what a hunt. Not the longest hunt, only a couple of hours. Stalked in and then I saw I see a deer moving up slowly looking down looking down and I was up high The wind was in my favor big times and I see it bedding down. I was like, oh, that's perfect So I was, go closer go closer go closer all of a sudden I thought fuck it's it's maybe gone It's it maybe left the bed. I thought nah can't see nothing I thought nah, you know what? Let's just have a look through the binoculars and wait and wait and wait and all of a sudden I saw the ears going I was like, okay, I'm on track. Oh, I'm on track oh my goodness and it took a while because i could have shot 10 15 20 times you know but the thing is it's just i don't know like i know some of the hunters shoot straight away when they're in bed but the thing in austria it's different it's like you have to give them a fair chance they say you know so you let them get up first and then bang so anyway he did that and here he is so i'm very glad very glad that he didn't roll down the hill there because that's steep that is really really steep hill so we, we have to drag him up around 40 50 meters so it's not that bad thank goodness but it's still gonna be pretty hard because it's like it's like very very steep like the one we dragged out with shane and steph the other day but that was yeah far out that was bigger than that that was a big massive hind that she shot there so the freezers are gonna be filled and everybody's gonna eat now for the next four months but we will be out very soon again so stay tuned let's get this thing up there and yes another one on the deck hey i'm so excited you have no idea oh man look at the mane on that
So we've got a wallow here that's been pretty freshly used. If you have a look here to the left, you, you've got this tree here where after they wallow, they rub up against the tree, put all their scent and everything on that tree. And we're going to build a tree house somewhere in the area where we can get a good view of the wallow and all the surrounding areas so we can set up in the afternoons or even in the mornings, try and catch the big boy.